Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Kalik Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 15 of my Subnautica Season 5 Let's Play series. So, if we head straight down, there's a chance we could get fucked up by a ghost leviathan, because I think they spawn in the Grand Reef biome now. So, you know, that's Mary. That is Mary, it is indeed. I don't know where they spawn or anything, I just know they can spawn out here from my understanding. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna try and get modification station parts here, that's part of the reason why we're down here. Thermal plant's nice. Nothing. Box with a nutrient bar in it. Vital signs stabilizing. Really glad I got a bunch of water and stuff. Makes me really happy. So let's head down to about here. And we can kind of go from there. What do we got over here? A grappling arm fragment? That's completely fine. Alright. This is a drill arm. And what else do we got? Alright, so that's the grappling arm complete. It's a positive. And then we've got... New blueprint acquired. Uh, got anything else down here? Over this side, maybe? Like, I'm pretty paranoid, because I don't actually know... Apart from that one experimental video I did last season, where I spawned in a ghost leviathan, I actually haven't seen them in-game. So everything I have seen has just been purely spawned in, so... Cyclops Hollow Module MK1. Oh, I've already got the grappling arm. We don't want more of those. We can't really afford to hold all the titanium that comes with opening, to, like, taking all the extra fragments. I'd rather take the extra food and water rather than the extra titanium at the moment. Okay, like, I'm getting stuff... <laughs> I'm getting fragments I want, but not... Not the exact one I want, like the modification station. So this is the this is the Grand Reef one. If you want to know the coordinates, there they are. Just in case anybody wants to look at them. Uh, what's over here? Salt block that could be mined with a thirty seconds prawn suit. All right, I'm a little bit further away from the seam off than I thought. Oh, I haven't found batteries at all, have I? No. That would have been good to get in one of these boxes. Is there anything up on these top ledges at all? Uh, there's stuff over here. Another prawn arm. I couldn't really... I don't really want that. I think I got the last vehicle... Or the last modification station fragments from over this wreck last season, if I'm correct in that statement. I believe... They're supposed to be outside on this wreck, from what I've seen in the past. A shit ton of drill arms. No shortage of drill arms at all. I'd imagine maybe the Ghost Leviathans spawn at, like, the border between the Crag Field and the Grand Reef, or just all along that area, leading up to the Leviathans at the Aurora. That's probably how they've done it. Alright, there should be a hole somewhere at the bottom here. I think it's at the front side. Or the top side. There we go. Oop. E -a 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 -o. Okay. Uh huh. We got put on the other side of the wall there. That's okay though. <laughs> All right. And we head in. Will be mostly a fruitless venture probably. Uh, is that going to be enough? Twenty-three percent. Maybe we'll just get this door open. 
I really hope we actually get this door open. Otherwise, we've kind of wasted somewhat of our time coming over to this wreck. I mean, I guess I got the drill arm and the grappling arm out of it. Which I will at least use one of those. Okay, so there's another door down there. Well, there's this room here. Which has a repair module. For the Cyclops in it. Which I think it means we can put the prawn suit and the Seamoth in and it will repair it as well if we have that module installed. For the cost of some power, of course. But it still will do it. Alright, yeah, there's another one here. What do we got in this? 12%. 11. Fuck. We don't really have <laughs> any power at all. Uh, the Seamoth has the... The Sea Glide has the most... Okay. Uh, actually, let's get oxygen first because if I leave it too long, I'll forget about it and I'll potentially die. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, this makes it easy just to park it here and then you zoom up. Alright, when you can fit. And your fat ass doesn't get stuck on the door frame, that is. I don't know whether that was the sounds of the wreck or the sounds of something else. I mean, I know, I, I have no doubt that we'll probably run into a ghost leviathan at some point, and if not, I'll purposely make myself run into one to have a look. Check them out. This one's already been collected. Like, I guess some of them show up as being opened. Ah. This door says it can open. It clearly cannot, but it does say it could. Well, this was kind of a bust. I mean, there's like five or six wrecks that can contain modification station fragments. It's just, this was probably one of the easier and safer ones to go to. The others are in the dunes biome and stuff like that, and they're not the safest ones to be at, really. So... Yeah, that's great. That's an alien containment fragment. That is worthwhile. Have we got another one? Here by chance? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I would have preferred a better haul than what we got. And being 100% honest, I feel like we didn't get as many fragments for things as what we should have. But I also think it's a good idea to collect some of these while we're out here. Because we will use these in crafting recipes very soon. So instead of having to travel all the way out here to grab the uh, aluminium oxide crystal, we'll just get some here. We could also grab some quartz if we wanted to. We will need a few of these, so... Very easy to grab them now. Okay. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh yeah, load up the 6% battery. Mm-hmm. Perhaps some. Oh, I just dropped the battery. Is that the 22% battery I dropped? Eh, fuck me. That's okay. Oh, okay. It just popped. Auto popped into my inventory. It like held on to me till I cleared space. That's interesting. Can we get the uh, the material you need to make? Reactor rods and stuff out here as well. Is that what this is on the wall? They changed the model again. They did change the model again Interesting I mean, I guess it's very obvious now Maybe maybe the the previous model was too hard to see because it did get difficult at sometimes to spot So I guess making it like glow green is pretty obvious what it is Although it's still, there doesn't seem to be much around the area. Normally out here is like my go-to spot for that stuff, if not the Lost River. Alright. Uh, uh -huh. Can I pick it up? Thank you! But the model hasn't been changed in the UI, I don't think. No, it hasn't. Still very silver. I think they need to vary it up a little bit. A lot of a lot of the materials are very, very silver, and sometimes can be hard to distinguish. 
between different different materials on the wall if you're not like really concentrating and also like sorting inventory there's just so much silver it's fucked uh what do these provide these are basalt outcroppings right hey open one get one beautiful ow so this goes straight into a creep vine forest, which makes me feel somewhat safe. At least I know that I don't believe the ghost leviathan would come out here. Although I have seen weirder things in some Nordic games with like the reapers showing up and stuff in the middle of uh in the middle of the safe shallows and stuff like that. Hasn't happened for a while now. But I remember that was a really big bug that a lot of people experience. I never dealt with it. But yeah, a lot of people got that bug, apparently. I love doing that. And then turning around. And then doing backwards. Wonder if I can Nah, you can't you can't whip it around as you as you, when you're out of the water you can't move. So your only chance would be to do something like this. But nah, it doesn't work. Okay. You get a kind of a stunt, but not not really. It depends. I guess if you turn your DPI up on your mouse a lot, you might be able to do something. Or you could just trip your game right the fuck out. Holy shit. Yeah, you can kind of spin if you up your DPI a lot. Okay, pull in the port. What have I got in my storage? If I have batteries still in here? No. Thank fuck. I would have been so mad if I actually found batteries in there. Oh, their power's doing just fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, what are you? 100% battery. Nice. Nice. You can go in here. Is there any more batteries in there? Maybe there Oh, there's some in here, right? Yeah, this is the shit. Put the, the low charge batteries in there. Bang. Fucking when it wants to work. Bang. Uh, get a couple more fully charged batteries, maybe. That's 100%. Alright. Nice. Alright, now everything should be good. With that, I should put the food away as well. Even the water. Unfortunately, I've run out of space for like a lot of other stuff. How's our plant? Oh, all our crops going too? Mm, there's some here. All right, let's grab the survival knife out. Try and cut one. That's how you get the seeds from them. And we'll have lots of seeds. There we go. Good stuff. We can eat the Chinese potatoes in the meantime, and we can also, like, chew on some of this lantern fruit. Yummy, yummy. In the tummy, tummy. Also put a couple extra in there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so next episode, I think we need to... Wreck dive, get the modification station parts, and then we... What do we want to do then? And we need also the vehicle modification station to be able to do anything with the moon pool. Like, we've built it, but at the moment it's just a, a glorified charging station. And that's all the benefit we get out of it. Now I can bring it up here and it can... Zoop, suck it up. Charge it up. Really quickly. So, wait. It says it's charging, right? How quick does it charge? Like what's its percentage now? It charges still really quick. So... Okay, it's like... Alright, it wouldn't let me go back up. Um, so yeah, if you want to charge power cells faster, that still seems like the method to do it. Just load up a power cell at a time in your Seamoth and bring it up inside your, your moon pool, really. But anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. 
If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.